Hey everybody, it's John, it's Lindsay, and uh, I made this really cool tuna salad yesterday, and I'm going to have it for lunch today, and I figured I'd show that to you so that I could follow through on the action. But uh, first, I wanted to take care of my beverage, and that is going to be this beautiful uh, gunpowder green tea that is specially fermented and has a really beautiful effect when you use it with a uh, French press like this one here. It doesn't take much. It takes about a tablespoon at most. I have this really cool um, little teaspoon, literally a teaspoon made for tea. Maybe if I show it up right. And uh, this will be my first time using it. So I'm going to go ahead and take a nice big scoop of tea. Put it right in there. Matter of fact, maybe I'll leave that in there. And I'll start my water. Oops. Start my water and set that aside. So here I'm using this beautiful Kaiser roll, nice big Kaiser roll from Kroger. And I'm gonna start building with some flat stuff. That being cucumber. And I'm building from the bottom just because it will be easier than trying to put this stuff on top of the tuna. And I have cucumber, I have some onion, and I have some lettuce. The onion I'm just gonna try and center as best I can. And the uh, not very finely chopped, pretty rough. And the tuna is gonna go on top of all this and smash it all down. Uh, maybe I'll put the lettuce on top. How's that? So, there we go. I did have this last night. Of course, it was delicious. And you may find that the liquid sort of separates out. That's perfectly fine. It means there's a lot of veggies in there. So, I'm going to take that all, mix it up again. And I have uh, measured this to be about four portions for me. Uh, it's probably somewhere around 75 to 100 calories a portion with all these veggies in it. So, taking about a quarter out of the bowl by shoving it aside. Take a nice slotted spoon and just take a quarter portion. If you lose a pickle, go chase it. Is that some delicious stuff? You can see it's kind of a messy operation, but it's got that beautiful spinach and tomatoes and peppers, all kinds of good tasty stuff. And from my original portion, my original recipe, there's still about a half left, enough for two nice sandwiches. What you hear, if you hear anything, is the water heating up in my Hamilton Beach, I think it's Hamilton Beach, kettle. Best 20 bucks I ever spent, I think. I'm gonna put the tuna back in the fridge where it belongs. I'm also gonna take the 
veggies that I already did mise en place for. Those in the fridge where they belong. See if I have just a few seconds before the water is done. Throw my lettuce on top. You can see that's a super mound. Super mound sandwich. And I personally am going to have some mandarin oranges for lunch with it. Bring some light on the situation so you all can see. And now it's time for French press. I'm going to put the light right behind it. And I'm going to gently pour. Actually, I'm not going to gently pour at all. I'm going to pour really vigorously because it'll stir up all those leaves. I'm realizing now it's probably not enough to. I'm going to put another portion in. And if you've never used a French press, I think they are absolutely beautiful devices. Uh, it's a coffee maker and a tea maker. And uh, the way that it works is that the tea will just float openly. And then I take this plunger and I put that on top like so, making sure not to allow any tea leaves in the top, and also making sure that the handle portion is at the handle portion and the pour version is at the pour version. And why I absolutely love it, let me see if I can zoom in for this. Let you in on the display. Is that you can press this down and that gets all of your coffee or your tea out of your uh, tea result. But look at that. It's like a really beautiful, uh, really beautiful snow globe or something. So I'm gonna let that go for three minutes. And I'll just pump this a few more times. You can see that beautiful color coming out. Just a fun way, especially with tea, with coffee. <laughs> with coffee, it's kind of muddy. I mean, it gets uh, coffee dark right away. But this is a nice way to keep tea leaves or coffee grounds out of your mouth while you're trying to enjoy. And I don't usually do this with coffee, but with tea, I love to pump this a few times to really get the most I can out of the material. Anyway, there's that massive tuna sandwich. I'm probably going to cut it before I try to eat it so I don't make a mess. I'm not going to show you any of that. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much for stopping by. And if you like this video, please give it a like. If you want to see more videos like this, please give it a subscribe and maybe even a bell. Ding-ling. I'll talk to you later.